the Joe Rogan experience. What is New York like right now? You know, uh, I've been there. I left. I've been here a month now. You know, I have a place down in Orange County, and uh, New York was all fucked up, and it's all boarded up. And uh, yeah. my my daughter's there. I live downtown, uh, way downtown, and uh, I was going out like an hour a day. You know, that's it. I just went out an hour a day. I would uh, take a walk, and uh, there was the streets were empty. Yeah, the streets were empty at night. Now after the looting, they destroyed Soho. Yeah, you know, it's just destroyed. You know, and the cops are very timid, and and it's all fucked up. I mean, it's all fucked up. I I, I don't. I don't know what happens there. I mean, I don't know. You know I don't my, know uh, how it happened. Like, yeah. it, seeing the cops just standing around while they were looting the art galleries in Soho, while they were smashing Fifth Avenue. It was I, like, I, I what don't know. the fuck is this? I, I don't know. It's I like mean, the end of the world. Yeah, you know, really uh, scary and de Blasio's the worst fucking, I'm not a political guy at all, Joe. Like, not at all. But he's the worst fucking human that maybe walks the face of the earth. I kid you not. And... You know, I owned an apartment in Manhattan for like nine years. And when he became the mayor, within a, a year, you saw, even six months, right? You saw like these fucking changes. I'm going, I'm out. I'm selling my fucking place. And I sold my place. What changes? Uh, all kinds of shit. Uh, the cops, basically, they have one hand tied behind their back. He changed all these laws, stop and frisk, da, da, da. Some needed to be changed, some not. Uh, it just the homeless is everywhere all of a sudden. Yeah. The trains are impossible. There's all kinds of shit going on, you know, and I have to blame the mayor. I mean, there's, you know, uh, where I live downtown, there's, there, listen, I'm, I'm compassionate to the homeless. I don't know the answer, which is why I'm not the fucking mayor, but they're everywhere. Same thing here. You know. Yeah, our, our governor was the mayor of San Francisco, which is the craziest fucking place you've ever seen in your life when it comes to homeless people. Yeah, it's, it's a big problem. There. And now, after COVID, it's like ramped up 40%. Yeah. Like the, the homeless situation there is, it doesn't even make sense. Like you're seeing these beautiful homes and there's campsites in front of them. And these people have to come out of their houses and, you know, tiptoe around needles and broken bottles and, and people's shit. This might get worse, though, right? It could After get... COVID, with the economy, you know, collapsing as it did. Yeah. And, well, that's what, that's what was happening with the COVID, too, in New York. Because, listen, these guys standing on the corner, they're panhandling. There's no one, there was no one to right. get money from. I mean, there right. was no one to panhandle. The streets were completely empty. Broadway, downtown, you could shoot a cannon through it. Not a car. Yeah, Mark Norman, you know the comic, Mark Norman, uh -huh. you know him? Hilarious guy. Filmed a bunch of shit with him just running around New York City with it, empty streets. Nobody just, uh, around. How weird it looks. Wall Street is empty. All these places that are packed were empty. I don't know the answer. Uh, and, and with the cops, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't know. I mean, uh, it's all so bizarre, and I think so many people are either going to resign from the force, but definitely not join the force. There's a lot of guys that are thinking about joining a, the force. That's a tough job, man, for for very little pay, and you're putting your life at stake. And just public opinion of the force is down so low. I don't get it. Listen, I know uh, if God forbid I had trouble, I call a cop. I'm yeah. pro cop. I'm pro cop I mean? as well. I play a cop now. You know, I've been on Blue Bloods for five years. I play a detective. Yeah. I'm pro cop. You, you play cops. You just for playing a detective. Played a homicide detective. Yeah. yeah. We went from wise guys to detectives. There's a fine line. <laughs> Is there a fine line there? <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but I agree. Uh, New York is, uh, uh, my daughter had just gone back, and it's, it's really depressing, man. You know, you haven't been, right? No, I've been in California since March 1st. I was in New York before that. And uh, so, yeah, I got couldn't go back, really. But I live here and there, both places. Yeah. It was a little easier here up in the uh, Santa Barbara area. I love it up there. Yeah, a lot easier to be quarantined there because yeah. you go outside and backyard and stuff like that. Yeah, so. the beach. It's like the, Santa yeah. Barbara's the perfect size. But I I mean, I was in New York. Though. We They shut us down March 13th. Well, with two and a half episodes to go, we just got shut down, and then they, you know, then you couldn't even go out of the house two days later. I mean, I wasn't aware of anything. I mean, the trains were packed. I was taking the train and and shit, and I went to a concert a few days before. Wow! At the Beacon, 
you know, Dave Matthews and Jackson Brown. There was a fucking concert, but nobody said anything. You know, and uh, Jackson Brown got sick. Didn't yeah, he, he didn't got get sick. COVID. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe at that concert. No. You know, maybe. <laughs> but uh, then it was just I was there for two months, and it was gloom. And I'm in a building. Yeah. So you got to watch the elevator, the fucking right. doorman, the thing, you know, order food in. You know, mm -hmm. it's just cra it makes you crazy. Wipe off the package. Don't wipe off the package. Wear gloves. Don't wear gloves. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nobody knows. It's a very, very confusing time. Yeah, nobody knows what the fuck is going on. <laughs>